Browns cover. Saints Falcons, no idea. I wouldn't touch it. Would not recommend betting that game. 49ers Bears feels awfully sneaky. Off, it just feels sneaky. Maybe even an upset. Really like the Dolphins. I think they cover. Eagles win. Maybe Lions cover. Colts and Texans, absolutely no idea. Jaguars in Washington, no clue. I'm being honest here. I'm not just spitting out, oh, this team will cover, this team will cover. Chargers win. Raiders cover. (sighs) DRG, what's going on, guys? Happy Monday. I hope everyone survived the weekend. There was a lot of... I think there was a lot of teams that won but didn't cover. And um, certainly some upsets, but we did very, very, very well. A lot of my predictions were spot on. Unfortunately... Something happened, and I, and I need to just go ahead and tell you guys right now. Took $100, $111 Saturday night. Took Baylor and Mississippi State teaser hit. Then we took that money, and we did a three-team parlay NFL. Eagles money line, Dolphins money line, and tonight the Broncos money line. Now here's where the problem comes in. I'm watching the Buccaneers game Sunday night. They're driving the ball with ease, going down the field every single time. Red zone, almost scoring, coming up with field goals, even a missed field goal. 12 points, 12 points. And I get an opportunity, I see an opportunity on a live bet. Team total over for the Buccaneers, 22 and a half. And I'm sitting there, I'm like, don't do it. Don't do it. But I couldn't resist. I cashed out the parlay. It was 200 and something dollars to win 500 and something dollars, like a 640 payout. It all would have came down to tonight on the Broncos. Broncos money line too, not even spread. So we pretty much had what I think, obviously the game isn't done yet, but what I think was a lock to to take about $111 up to like 650. And I'm like, "You know what? If I cash out right now, take the 450 they're offering and put it all on this live spread, I'm going to have even more money." And I took the gamble, guys. I took the gamble. I took the gamble. I thought, "No way. There is no way that Tom Brady and the Buccaneers after just moving the ball with ease are going to score 7 freaking points for the whole rest of the game and that's exactly what happened we got burnt guys we got burnt to crisp we lost a huge huge chunk of money at least a huge potential chunk again if you know the broncos end up losing tonight my pain will subside a little bit but i wanted to let you guys know about that because it presents a really cool opportunity what we're going to do over the next weekend potentially two weekends depending on games should be able to get it done this coming weekend is we're going to do a $100 to $1,000 challenge, maybe $200 to $1,000. I'm not sure what we're going to start with. But make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel so you do get notified when my next video comes out. You want these picks. If you guys got 100 bucks laying around, join the channel, turn that notification on, and um, let's do this together. Let's go on a little ride. Let's just take a small amount of money, 100 bucks, maybe 200 Not sure what we're going to start with. I will update you guys with that. And I'm going to give you my picks. We're going to use Saturday and Sunday. Probably it's only going to take one weekend. Maybe we'll go into next weekend if we're not feeling good about certain games. What we would like to have is good opportunities, college football, in like the noon time slot. And then we want some night games also. That way we can kind of get off to a really good start. You know, maybe take 200, turn it into four something, take that turn it into eight something, and then we just have to have a big bet on uh, on NFL Sunday. And there we go, well over $1,000 in just two days. So if you guys are excited for that, I'm really, really excited. I'm going to try my very, very best. My research is just going to be crazy. It's Monday, and I'm already reading articles. I've been up early. I've been drinking coffee. I've been thinking about how the heck we're going to get this done, and I have no doubt. I mean, based on this previous weekend, we are really, really dialed in. I'm feeling really good about things, despite the loss financially. It was just kind of a, just kind of a bad break. It's one of those things that just make you say, "Well, that's sports betting for you." So, off to tonight's game. That's why you guys are here. I'm not going to talk your ear off for 30 minutes. 
Here's my advice on tonight's game. I just don't suggest betting it before the game starts. I really don't. It's in Seattle, okay? And I think the right thing to do is to be patient and wait for a live opportunity. Now, of course, you guys are like, dude, you just lost your ass on a live opportunity. Now you're telling us to do that? Here's why. The energy in Seattle With Russell Wilson coming back to town should be enough. It should be enough to get some early fight out of Seattle. And I think you're just looking for a golden opportunity. Let's say, depending on the coin toss, Seattle gets the ball first. And you just have some big breakout play. Maybe Tyler Lockett. You get really, really lucky. Or by just horrible luck, the Broncos start with the ball and there's a turnover, a fumble. On the very first possession, Seattle scores. The crowd's going crazy. You look on your sports book, and that spread is no longer six and a half, or probably higher by the time game comes. It'll probably be a touchdown. If you guys wait and you're patient, I think with the game being in Seattle, I think you're going to get an opportunity to take Denver right around a field goal instead of the higher number. And on the flip side, if Denver gets off to a tremendous start, they're going to ease up on the gas, start running the ball, kind of grind the clock. Geno Smith should find a little bit of rhythm. The Denver defense will change what they're doing. And you can take Seattle with a lot more points than six and a half if Denver gets off to a ripping start. You better believe that. So regardless of which way it goes right out of the gate, I highly recommend waiting and taking either side on a live bet with better value. That's what I would do. That's my recommendation. I think that six and a half number is really going to maybe be the difference by a hook. I really think so. I think you might see Denver win by six. It might be that scary accurate. You never want to doubt the accuracy of Las Vegas. Just a weird game. It's week one. You never know what's going to happen. Wait for that live opportunity, regardless of what side you want to take. That is what I would say is the move for tonight if I had to take a side right now if a gun was to my head if I had to do it there's just no way that I can go against Denver in this spot but I would wait for the live opportunity so there you go guys there is my prediction for tonight and again make sure you are subscribed to the channel so you get notified on this big $100 to $1,000 challenge I'll let you guys know the exact amount I will be starting with and our target goal. And then, of course, what we're going to do with that money in the future. We have a lot to do. We have a lot of season left. One of the worst things you can do in sports betting is to try to get rich quick. But we're going to do it this weekend anyway. All right, guys, that's all I got for you today. Hope everyone's doing all right. Good luck with your bets tonight. And I'll see you guys in the next video.